Alexei Ruklenko moved to Ireland from Ukraine six years ago. His mother and father still live in the city of Krivirik in the east of the country. With Russian forces reportedly moving ever closer to his homeland, all Alexei can do is watch on from afar. No one's going anywhere and everyone is hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. I didn't see any like strong panic. Everyone says like we would be as it be, but we're staying here and we were with Ukraine. So. Nadia Dobryanska went to college in Belfast but is now back home in Kyiv. She says people in the capital are staying calm. You, you wouldn't tell that there is an, a possibility of war, of possibility of an invasion in Kyiv from, from how the streets are and how people are just carrying on with their usual activities every day. Like most Ukrainians abroad, Alexei has been keeping a close eye on the latest developments. He's finding it hard being separated three and a half thousand kilometers from his loved ones back home. Of course, I fear that my own parents will also have to flee somewhere. They're not going to be on occupied territories. But it's unpredictable. With the situation remaining volatile, Alexei hopes it's not too late for leaders to find a resolution. Dmitry O'Donnell, RTE News.